Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kelly here and right now I have to redo my entire intro because I just played it and the wind is just in the mic the entire time. So I'm at the house right now. I'm editing this video. We <clears throat> take the boat out and we do a little bit of spear fishing in maybe six to seven feet of water. New territory for us. We found this massive branch underwater that had a bunch of sheep head on it. So we're targeting some sheep head. We're targeting some barracuda and we might go pompano fishing. Yesterday, we were riding through the Indian River and we saw pompanos skipping on the surface. I didn't even know they did this. Gabe pointed it out and I looked over and literally you see a pompano skipping on the surface, kind of like when you skip rocks or skip shells. That's exactly what they do. It was really cool. So we're gonna go spearfish for a little bit. I'm about to hop in the water. Then we might go fish for some pompano. So see y'all out there. Right there. You got barracudas everywhere. I know, I hope I don't spook them too much. Oh, look at the big one coming up. All right, you ready? Ease in, like ninja. Like ninja. Tell me if it's cold. He's swimming to your right. Don't forget to turn your GoPro on. Big manatee. Now you notice she stayed back and didn't harass it. He was so cute. <laughs> There was like 12 barracuda in front of him too. I was like. these crows photobombing you though? I think they want my fish. by the boat, there's a huge sheep's head right in the mangroves, and there's two or three big mangroves.
see what we were originally coming for. Yay! Oh, he poked me. Can you not poke me? Alright. Just in time for the water to get murky. Let's go put him in the boat. Got another sheepy! Ah. Another sheep head. Current's picking up. Woo. Hello. <laughs> Hold on, that's it! <laughs> My stuff's all tangled up. Got a nice oh, sheep head. Sheep head. Bagaruda. Dang, that's a big one for the grove. For the grove? For the grove. Uh, the grove. For the mangrove. Look at that thing. Wait. Oh. I was on that rock pile where all the sea turtles were. And he threw his head into me as I was trying to shoot a sheep's head. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. All right. Now we got to make it back to the boat. That's how you knock one out. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Stone. What are we gonna do now that the water's dirty? Go try a pompano fish or a sheep head. Okie dokie. I got dive hair like a mad woman right now. So we just got out of the water, the current started picking up, the water started getting murky, but Gabe shot something insane that he's gonna have a video on his channel. Catch, clean, and cook with this massive ray. We got a bunch of barracuda on ice. We have our pompano from yesterday and a couple other fish from yesterday still on ice that we're gonna grill out, grill out on the island with. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and try to go pompano fishing. Um, whoa, whoa. Oh, Was he getting away from you? Uh, we saw some pompano skipping on the surface yesterday, which I didn't even know they did. Gabe pointed it out, and it was super cool. I saw one, and they, as a, as our boat went by them, they pop out of the water and literally skip along the surface, like if you're skipping rocks. Gabe did catch a nice one yesterday, so that's what we're doing now. Hopefully, we'll get a few. We'll see you guys back on the island. All right, so we had to go back. We picked up the kids, we picked up Redneck, and now we're on this sandy beach here. We're gonna go ahead and use the grill billy. We're gonna grill up some of this barracuda. First, we gotta fillet it. They're kind of similar to a kingfish, I believe. I filleted a barracuda once before with my friend Cheyenne, and I couldn't believe how much meat is are on these things. Oh man. Not the most beautiful flay job, but it'll do, it'll do.
just like a kingfish. Yeah. Okay, so just like a kingfish, because you have this long fillet here, you can just cube it up and skin it piece by piece instead of trying to do the whole fillet, which you might mess up because I know I do. <laughs> I like to just do it piece by piece, as you can see here. Nice white meat. I'm starving. That's just belly meat. And voila. The thing about flying on the beach is you can just dispose of the carcass right next to you. That next like, but why did you hand that to me? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, the super cool thing about Barracuda is their bloodline is very distinctive and very easy to remove. It's going to go in at an angle. Going at an angle. Kind of like triangles. Just going to poke the tip of the knife in there. And just cut it right out. Boom. All right, let's go to our grill. All right, it's all lit up. We're gonna go ahead and close it, let it heat up, and then we're gonna go grab the fish. Guys, check this out. In the comments below, let me know if you know what these are. They're all over the beach, just torn to shreds. At the end of this video, I'll let you know what they are. Look, they're so light. What you got? I found this sort of caterpillar thing inside of the crab hole. I think this, this is what they eat. And I felt the crab in there. We'll catch him. Ooh, no seams. So Gabe gave me this cool, like, I don't even know what it is, a copper mat to go on a grill. And it heats up really fast and apparently nothing sticks to it. So I'm gonna test that out. I'm using my legs at the table here. Okay, so I went ahead and pre-cut some zucchini and some onions. Ooh, we're getting a little sizzle there with this copper mat. So I'm gonna use everything seasoning, bagel seasoning. Now this isn't the brand I normally use. I usually use the Trader Joe, the Trader Joe brand, but I ran out. So I found this one at Publix. It's everything bagel. Super simple. It's just garlic, sesame seeds, some onion, and poppy seeds. And it's really good on fish. I love saturating this stuff with the seasoning and using like a Kerrygold butter and like getting it all nice and buttery and it's just so good. But I'm not gonna saturate this too much in butter just because I don't want the butter dripping down into the grill and that can be bad. So, just gonna heavily coat it. Yeah. I'm just gonna start with three pieces because I don't wanna overdo it on the grill mat. Turn up the heat a little. All right, we're gonna come back and check on it. Okay, so Gabe's flying the drone right now, but I forgot a spatula, of course, and every single utensil, so luckily I have a Danco knife handy. We're gonna go ahead and flip this fish. That is hot. We're gonna add some more seasoning to the other side. And probably give it maybe, maybe like four more minutes and it should be done. 
Okay, so the fish definitely looks <laughs> redneck. Get out of here. Don't get sand in the food. So the fish definitely looks done. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off with a knife. We're gonna put it on this cutting board here. Hot. So far this mat is doing really well. This fish is so flaky, it is incredibly hard to take it off with just a knife. Let me tell you something, don't forget your spatulas if you're making fish on a grill. Like, just look how flaky it is. All right, hopefully I can be successful with a bigger piece. Dang, this thing is falling apart. All right, so the sun's going down right now. Our last piece of fish is cooking. It's finished. Like I said, don't forget your spatula because you'll be struggling with some heat on your hands. I already sacrificed some fish to the sand gods. Redneck's been eating it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this grill off. All right, so instead of putting the butter on before like I normally do, ah, where'd the butter go? I put it on after. Since we're dealing with a grill, I didn't want the butter or oil to seep. So when the fish is still hot, slap some butter on there. That way you're still getting that buttery flavor. I do use a lot of butter with my fish. And voila, all done. Some good old barracuda. It's funny, not till like maybe eight months ago, I just discovered that people actually eat barracuda. I never knew people ate it. I didn't know it was even remarkably good, but this fish is phenomenal. Look how flaky it is, come here. Look how it pulls apart so easily. That's a perfectly well done fish. That's why it was so hard to get off the grill with a knife, because it came off in pieces, which is what you want. Perfect. Mm, baby, try it. Here, squat down. Mm. Open up, your hands are dirty. <laughs> what kind of fish is that? Right, too. <laughs> Do you like it? A lot. It's so good. Okay, I'll wash mine, Dad. Come oh. here. <laughs> mine's a fish. Open up wide, turn around. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Look at the look at your fans and tell them. So delicious. So delicious. Ever since in my life. <laughs> you can always count on Luke for the. Mm. You always hear people talking about grouper, hogfish, snapper. They go to these restaurants and order all this high-end, expensive fish. There's not a grouper or a snapper that tastes better than a two and a half foot long barracuda. I don't care who you are. <laughs> if you prepare it right, that's as good as any fish you'll ever eat. So good, give me a zucchini. Red night, oh. Redneck is eating the fish I dropped. Oops. I might put that blooper in here, I don't know yet. It was pretty bad. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm closing this video out. The sun's going down. It's an absolute beautiful evening out here on the water. There is no place I would rather be than on a beach with a boat, with the people I love, with a grill billy, and some good fish. So stay tuned for the next adventure, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. The fish that were sacrificed. Redneck. Well, get that trash. Redneck. Here you go. Good boy.